Yeah, yeah, we lie, we lie, we lie. Salam on, salam on, salam on. Oh, now, now, cause we finna, uh, we finna run up yeah, on these Jehovah's Witnesses, see what they talking about. Yeah, right before count, we finna pester some Jehovah, so-called Jehovah's Witnesses, right? You know the real name of the Most High God is Yahweh, okay? Never forget. Right? Let's see, let's see if we can test that God, man. We gonna test that God. How legit their faith is. Let's see how legit their faith is. How's the plan? Yeah. God's word. Right. So according to God's word is uh, salvation. Okay, so basically, Christ died so that everyone could have the opportunity to be saved, but not necessarily everyone will be saved. But he died for the for the opportunity. Okay, cool. Give me a Acts five and thirty because you know we teach the Bible too every Saturday. Right. Hello. Uh, years. Years. Uh, I couldn't tell you precisely. So I just you know we, we were actually reading the book of Acts not too long ago, and uh, we had a question. Acts Book of Acts chapter 5 verse 30. Uh, the God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Right? Christ got crucified. Right. Him had exalt him, God had exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, a savior. Right. for to give repentance to Israel, to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So Acts 5 and 30 says he gave repentance for Israel. So how do we get this notion that he died for all people? Spiritual Israel. Okay, so where can I find spiritual Israel? I've never really you heard about that. I've studied. So, do you know where I can find spiritual Israel? Yeah, so I've studied. Okay, where can I find spiritual Israel? Yeah, I've studied. I've studied. Go to John chapter 17 and verse 17. Okay, we'll, we'll get there. Okay, Revelation 4 and 4. Galatians 4 and 4. And Jesus Christ is Jehovah God's son. We used to sing about it after we were watching. Right. Yeah, because that was our heritage. So what is the spiritual Jeremiah 31. Jeremiah 31. Go to verse 35. So, because now we of other nations, mm -hmm. because Christ died, and now, see, the prince is not up with them. But then they rejected Christ, and now it's over there. Right. right. So then, then Jesus Christ turned to the nations to the and got them a people for his name. Okay. Right. right. So they could also come in and make up their hundred parts. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. 31 and what? Revelation 2. Right at verse 35. 35. 35. 35. Right. Jeremiah chapter 30. You made a statement just now. You said it, it was right. kind of intriguing uh, that the Israelites, that it was the flesh and blood obedience. Israelites, that they no more, no longer exist, right? right. And now it's spiritual Israel. Right. So um, read that. Look at Jeremiah chapter 31, straight. verse 35. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the uh, ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. God controls the, the heavenly host. That's Jehovah God. Right. God controls the sun, moon, and stars. Right. That's right. Go ahead. Which divided the sea uh, when the when the waves thereof roar. Uh -huh. The Lord of hosts is his name. Right. Uh, if those ordinances depart from me, if those from, ordinances from depart from me, if God is no longer to control the sun, moon, and stars. No, right. he's still uh, controlling. Yeah. Of course, we're saying that's, that's the point. That's the point. Said, said the Lord, uh, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So does God always? He's always going to control the sun, moon, and stars, right? So hold the God. God, God will always control the sun, moon, and stars. Right? So then that means the seed of Israel can't be gone because he said, if God is not able to control the sun and the stars, then the seed of Israel. Read it again. Is it, um, 
verse, uh, verse 36. It says, if those ordinances depart from, from before me, said the Lord, then the seed of Israel al also voice? shall cease from Can being a nation voice? before me forever. Are y'all trying to teach us? We are Jehovah's people. We already been taught about Jehovah's people. Been taught by, so what is Jesus yeah, look like? Yeah, we the one been sent to teach with those anointed. So what does Jesus look like? Huh? Show the sign. Is that? Is this? Is this uh, Jesus? That's not. That's not Jesus. So what is? What does he look like? Does he look like that? He's the spirit. spirit. You can't see spirit. Can you, can't you see, see that? Spirit? Can you see that? Revelation one four thirteen. We're just here to to try to share people and uh -huh. just encourage more Bible reading. I understand. And. So, I mean, if you have more questions, I mean, you look through the book. Okay, see I just have like, a couple more see questions. See what you don't like. I understand. I just have a couple more questions. Since you got, you know, you're uh, here to teach, right? So, I guess uh, I'll say I'm here to learn if you have something to teach, right? So, you may just think that Christ is spirit. You can't see the air, you can't see the spirit. Was Christ ever in a fleshly body on earth? Yes. So, people could see him. What did he look like? Revelation 1 14. No. Oh, the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ had white woolly hair. What people on earth have woolly hair? What Bible you? Uh, it's King James. King James. Um, as white as snow. Use the, uh, New, World translation. New World Translation. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. Um, tell you, but it's essentially it's the same thing. Go verse 15. Ahead. And his feet and his feet like unto fine brass. What color as, is brass? Derivative of brown. As if they burned in a furnace, and his voice was sound of many waters. He was like a fine brass. They, so he had white woolly hair with fine brass. Give me Hebrews uh, seven. What an Acts one and six, man. Oh, I got you. Same way he left, he gonna come back. Now, if y'all want us to take y'all name, telephone number, we can come yeah. to your home because y'all interrupting. Interrupting what? Ain't nobody what are we interrupting. Because we going we are going to. You can come to your home, and, and someone can come there and teach and answer any question you wanna have. I mean, that's cool. I mean, you said we interrupted him. Like, what are we? I'm sorry, what are we interrupting? Hebrews, thir Hebrews 13 and 8. Hebrews 13 and 8. Because you said it, he's talking about his, uh, in heaven. No one can see him in heaven. But and John I, had a vision from heaven. That's how he saw him. Go ahead. Hebrews 13. Hold on, hold on. But I thought you said y'all came out here to teach just like the rest no, of the 144,000. They can accept literature and someone can come to their home. You guys are more wanting a debate no, 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 not debate, but asking questions. Well, that's all we're doing is asking questions. Why would they hostile, though? They can get it. Well, did Christ, did Christ engage in, in, in biblical conversations with the scribes and Pharisees? No one's hostile, no one's yelling. So we're just having a debate about the Bible, right? No one's going to say, come and let us reason together. We're not trying to get your arguments. What are our people? You know, you really want to come around with me. Yeah, I'm not trying to get your arguments. I'm gauging. I'm trying to see what you learn. Because I don't know in totality. Hebrews 13 and 8. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ, the same Jesus yesterday, Christ. same yesterday, and today, and today, and forever, and forever. So, what well, is he going to come on the earth? Is he going to come on the earth as a black man and, and then come back white? Right. I don't, I don't make no sense. Okay, well, cool. Okay, well, you think magic is going to come on my house? Okay, okay, well, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. So, what, hold on, get Psalm 119 and 42, because you keep talking about the truth. Right, we don't know what it. So you just assume we don't know what it means. Any you gonna assume, right? We don't know what it means. Before you know all in, you keep talking about the truth, right? Chapter one nineteen and verse forty two. One forty two. One forty two. One forty two. And it's one forty two. Supposed to be teaching the truth. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and the law is the truth. Thy law is the truth. So if you're not keeping the law, you can't be in truth because you're not keeping the law. Well, the law is not in effect in the sense that we are the Jesus. Yeah. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, John, chapter and verse 17. 17. Uh -huh. this is Matthew 5 and 17. This is Christ's own words, right? Think We're, not, this is Christ. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Hold that. Did, did Christ destroy the law? He came to fulfill it. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Go ahead. What the prophets, I am not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill. Uh -huh. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Has heaven and earth pass? 
Okay. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. So the law can't be done away with because you just submitted heaven and earth. We know that Christ Jesus. Okay, did Christ keep the law? He did. Oh, so why, why would he? Go to 1 John 2. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we supposed to walk in the same way Christ walked? So, yes, so if he kept the law, we should keep the law. So it says, For whoever shall break uh, one of these least commandments and uh -huh. shall teach men to do so, You're teaching men to do so. he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So you're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall teach, shall do and teach them, uh -huh. the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Right, so we're supposed to be That's Christ's John. words. That's Christ's word. Go to John chapter 17 and verse 17. You going to go there? Yeah, we got First John two and three. Yeah, go to John. First Would you John. say, as uh, people of Jehovah God, do you know God? You didn't know Jehovah God. You know Jesus Christ too. All right. No, that's not. You do know him. No. Nah, just this. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. This is the Book of First John, chapter two, verse three. Verse thirteen. And look at there. And hereby, and hereby do we. Come on. Hereby, huh? Oh yeah. Okay. And hereby we do know that we know Him. If we. Do you guys keep the commandments? Do you guys keep the commandments? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do yeah, that. Just, uh, we don't need y'all to teach us. That's okay, but I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking questions. questions. Do, you guys keep, do you guys keep the commandments? We're not here for that. We're not here to keep the commandments? We're not here for y'all to teach us. I'm asking you a question. We're I'm not, not even, hold on, I'm not even trying to teach you. I'm asking a question. Every question that you ask you, you have the answer. But y'all saying no we're wrong though. Y'all saying we're wrong in what we're saying. So what's the right answer is what we're asking. This, if, this if, is if, the whole if, point. If, if, if what we have is wrong, then what is, is, what is the right answer? Well, okay, this is going to be the last, the last question. Last well, question. We'll leave well, that's what they call Bible studies. Do you guys keep the commandments? The, the commandments. No, there's, there's more than 10 commandments. There's 613 commandments. So do you keep the commandments? More than 10 commandments. Do you keep the commandments? I can't keep the commandments. You, 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 you don't have a beard. You don't keep the commandments. That's old. Where is it? Can you show me old commandments in the Bible? <laughs> I'm judging. Wow. I am judging. Y'all right, are going yeah, so far down Where in the Bible does it say I can't bit. judge? Give me uh, okay. 1 Corinthians 2 and 15. Is it 2 and 13? Oh, he, he told us not to judge? Let's walk down this way. I know. Let's walk down this way. I know. I'll get my name. First, first Corinthians 2. There's a, there's a gentleman over here we can call and give, okay. give, give you information to. She'll be asking for it. I'm going to give it to her. No, don't worry. First Corinthians 2 and 15. I, I, I take charge. Oh, she can't take and my name and number? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. But let's, let's go down and that way we can get your information. The, 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 the dude down here must going to be more willing to talk to us or something. Right. Because so I'm why are you, you I'm not going to have the whole answer. You can't answer any questions. Right. I'm here this is uh, just that. real quick, real quick. Speaking of judging people, let's John, let's John 7 and 24. Right. right. Judge not, bro, don't, don't put your hands on me. Oh, right. Don't do that. John 7 and 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Yeah, Christ said we can so judge. So he said we were supposed to judge. Just not according He's, to the appearance. Exactly. We're supposed to judge, judge righteously. righteously. That's the whole goal. He just did according to my appearance. He said I'm not shaved. No, hold on, hold on. That's righteous judgment, That's righteous judgment. We if actually, you had a beard and let's say, right, let's say, uh, for instance, one of these brothers, if I look at this brother and said, oh, you're, you're a sinner because you assume that you are wearing mixed fabric, but he's right. not wearing mixed fabric. Right. Or I say that he smokes weed. I don't know if he smokes weed. That's judging according to appearance. Right. Yeah. That's, that's called, a, um, what's it called? When you pre Presumptious. Yeah, pre presumption. Right? But I can tell you don't have a beard. That violates Leviticus 19 and 27. Right. So that's not judging according to appearance. Yeah. You literally don't have a beard. That's in right. violation of, the, of God's commandments. Literally. And then you, you eat what? How do I know you what? Watch this, hold on, watch this, watch this, watch this. Do you shave your beard? Do you shave your beard? That's how I know. That old mouth can Goddamn. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Light? Right down that way. Oh, okay, across the street over there with the blue shirts on. Who's this with the umbrella? The purple umbrella. Is that more from Yeah, we're all over, man. We're all over. Oh, okay. We're all I think we're all on. 
the Mormons, bro. Man, look, man. You ain't got the answer, Sway. And your homies don't either. Is it gonna need to go ahead, get right, come into this boat? Yeah, absolutely. How many people are watching? Like, see, Sam? We've been going up and down. Yeah, man, we finna, they're taking us to their uh, supreme leader. Supremes. <laughs> taking us to their elders. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's the scripture says that uh, people use uh, the world family. Yeah, the yeah. foolish in the, of the world to confound the wise. Confound the wise, right? Yeah. We're just going up. They'll just think all us some ignorant niggas. Right. And here they were coming. She said, uh, uh, what she said? Yeah, heaven and earth will never come. Heaven and earth will never come. She confounded herself. I can't He's taking us to the ones who may have the answers. I, I guarantee you, watch this. I guarantee you, it's a bald headed Negro. Watch this. I know, I get this. <laughs> Bro, you folks ain't got answers, man. You probably talking about that dude. Don't be right there. Shut oh, up, family, man. It's a beautiful Saturday. Pre camp confoundment session, you know? You know, feeling good, hot. Man, this is crazy. Put on panic camera around. Look how many. Look how they close it up. But they deep out here. Oh, they about 20 deep out here. They on every corner. And some of them across the street from each other. So they, yeah, like literally. They're not playing games. Yeah, they, oh, don't they, say, don't discriminate say, you still, uh, teach them to work far away. Yeah, come on. And, then, and for one, you're not supposed to really not answer my questions. You're not no, supposed to say to We're going to go into that. Yeah. That was, that was just, uh, you know, we were using a little pocket knife for them. Yeah, yeah. We, they're taking us to their leader, so we might have to bring out the samurai sword. Yeah. I, I, think probably, I, I, think I just the right. raid mines, you know? I just the raid mines. Right. Wow, it's probably right. It's a ball headed me. Oh my god! Come on, man. Jake, Jake loves, loves defending false doctrine. Right, Jake loves defending false doctrine. It's crazy. But yeah, bro, usually how it works is we walk up, ask a few questions. People try to consider us hostile because we're coming up and defending the word of the Most High God, Yahweh. In a manner that they've never seen before. Well, well the scripture saying Jude uh, to, to earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly contend for the faith. That's right, earnestly. Right? And he, what, are you just gonna sit there and play patty cake? No. Right. Was Christ sitting there playing patty cake? No, he was rebuking people. He never did. He went to the temple and he was flipping tables, made a scourge of whips. That's right. I'm not supposed to be out here just loving every damn body, trying to, you know what I mean? Right. Thinking it's, it's all high good. time to wake out of sleep, man. Nigga, it's time to wake the hell up, man. Mm -hmm. So we're we're, we're uh, reaching reaching our destination, and as the officer aside pointed out, it's going to more than likely be a bow headed Jake. And watch, what we're, we're going to do is we're going to keep doing this, and we're going to just make sure they don't even come on the block no more. All right. Right here. All right. All They'll right. Come and you know ask every every chance. Right. Right. No, 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 no. We're not going that much farther. We can yeah. stay right here. Yeah. Too high. Uh, is it alright if you ask you some questions concerning the Bible? How you doing? Alright, yeah, he's bringing reinforcements. Alright, so we just got done asking him about the law. Right? Because we noticed. Yes, we are. Come on. We're not interested. We're not interested? Why is that? I, I thought you are supposed to be uh, preaching to all preachers. So, uh, we, we do preach, but we don't like to argue. We're not trying to argue, we're asking questions. We actually talked to some people earlier. Yeah. Kind of cold the scripts, huh? Aggressive. aggressive. Was Christ aggressive? Yeah, no, he was not. No, so what does it mean to be austere? What does it mean to be austere? Guys, I don't I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. Give me um No, he said he said he don't he don't have to ask me because he's gonna be the guy who okay. has to answer. Okay. Real quick, just give me first Peter three and uh and fifteen. Right. Bring that out. And I'm gonna read this. This is Luke 19 and 21. For I fear thee because thou art an austere man. Right. Christ is an austere man. Let's see what the word austere means in the Greek. I have a feeling it's something that he ain't gonna like. Let's see what austere means. Hold on, hold that. 
I need where it says answer. Uh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Three, real quick, real quick. Austere in the Greek. It says uh, harsh, Sheesh. rough, rigid. Sheesh. That's what austere means. So you're saying Christ was in, or was he not austere? Oh, so was he harsh? No. We just, we just read it. How do you, <laughs> I mean, how do you explain he just read one scripture out of context. Out of context? So what is the yeah. context of that? That are an austere man. Who's an austere whole, man? The whole thing. We know it's talking about Christ. We don't need to read the whole thing. Get 1 Peter 3 and 15. 1 Peter 3 verse 15. Uh -huh. But sanctify the Lord God in your heart. Have you sanctified the Lord God in your heart? Guys, I don't want to talk. Go ahead. Talk. You don't, no, 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 keep going. Keep going. Let's preach. And be ready always to give an answer to oh. every man that asketh you Sheesh. a reason Sheesh. of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So you're supposed to answer me. Every man that... Am I a man? He says with meekness. Yeah, but he's supposed to answer with meekness. Yes. Did you also read the scripture where it says to not have to participate in foolish debates? How is this a foolish this debate? This is a debate. How is it a hold on, wait, wait, wait. It says a foolish debate. How is this a foolish debate? Is there debates in the Paul debate? The Christ debate? Let me ask y'all this. Go ahead. Who is going to get salvation? Israel. The so called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Right. Scott, and right. others scattered right. throughout. Right there, that's wrong. That's because wrong. God says that all people, anybody, Where's that in the Bible? Where's that in the Bible? Uh oh. There we go. Let's go. My man. I need you to watch this. I'm gonna read. Uh, is it wrong? Is it wrong to debate? It is. This is uh, Acts 18 and, and 28. This is talking about Paul. Watch this. Right. For he vigorously refuted his Jewish opponents in public debate. <laughs> in public debate. Proving from the scriptures that Jesus was the Messiah. So right. Paul engaged in open debate. It what do you is. think uh, uh, Mars Hill is? Areopagus. Right. Yeah, That's a place where you go debate. Yeah, go ahead. Acts chapter 10, verse 34 and 35. Uh -huh. And this Peter began to speak, and, and he said, yeah. Now truly I, I understand that God is not partial, yeah. but in every nation, the man who fears him does what is right and acceptable to him. Okay. It is acceptable to him. Okay. Give me James 1 and 1. Yeah, that's it, man. That's all I got. Oh, now, as soon as he brings this point out, now we yeah. just got to shut down shop. Yep. That's great. Book of James, chapter 1. We're talking about boy. using the word of the Lord James, deceitfully. a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. So long, the 12 what? tribes scattered That's why it says in every nation, because the Israelites were scattered in every nation. Well, you're done with the conversation, right? Yes. All right. All right. Well, we cut him up. We appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. Yeah. How do you appreciate that? You wouldn't even do you have appreciate? a conversation with us, uh, But look, I told y'all we don't want to argue. Nothing. No, no, nobody's arguing. Real quick, real quick. Nobody's yelling. Who is this right here? That's not Jesus. What does Jesus look like? The Bible doesn't say what Jesus looks like. Is this the man with the plan? Do you guys uh, have any questions? Or yes, yes, we do. We do. Are you We've been asking questions all day. Nobody has any answers. Well, you, Hold on, let's, let's stay in order. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. Over here. Right, yeah. Over here. yeah, teach your brother. Oh, you some more signs. Right. Still alive? Right. All right. What's going on, man? We asked a question, the other man, I don't remember his name, he didn't have a beard, so I asked him, why does he not have a beard if he claims to love God? Give me First John 5 and 3, do you love God? But when we think about it, yeah. you know, it's, it's appearance doesn't have to be. It's not about appearance. It's it's not exactly. about, I'm not judging the form of appearance. It's, I don't have to, what, do you shave your beard? I, I do. Okay, so then if, well, I'm not judging the form of appearance. You just admitted it, that you violate Leviticus 1927. Now, do you love God? No, but which, which, five, three. which, 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 what do you love? violate the commandments of the Most High, and so I'm judging you because of that. But what, the first thing is that we shouldn't be judging. We, oh, we are, hold everything. We are, First Corinthians 2 and 15. We are not in charge of judging no one. Okay. So the, the only, first the is church, the only one, the only one uh -huh. that should judge. It's God, right? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. Okay. But First Corinthians First, chapter 2. Because, you know, yes, you can tell me a lot of things, but can you really tell me what's in my heart? Exactly. Okay. The heart. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we can talk. We can share yeah, First Corinthians 2 and 15, chapter 2, 15th verse. Uh -huh. But he that is spiritual, he that is spiritual, which you claim to be, right? He judges all things. He judges all things. 
judge the world and if the world shall be judged by you are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters know ye not that we shall judge angels how much more things that pertain to this life Absolutely annihilating these old fools. And what did I say? I guarantee it's a bald headed Negro. And lo and behold, bald headed Negro. Go ahead. The book of Proverbs, uh -huh. chapter 28, and verse 1. Right? The wicked. The what? The wicked uh -huh. flee when no man pursueth. We ain't pursuing them. They said they're going to get up the block. So we let them get up the block. But the scriptures say the wicked flee when no man pursueth. Go ahead. But the righteous are bold as a lion. We're bold as a lion. That's why we can go to any block, any corner where there's Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, right. Catholics, and we cut them up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal That's right, man. All right, but that was just some quick... Man, uh, you're not supposed to ever run from nobody. Warm up, though. man. 
That's you think Christ was born? He said, oh, it's clear you guys have a different doctrine. So when Paul knew that the, the people in the various churches had a different doctrine, he right. went and debated them. Right. That's why, hold on. Don't the scripture say, give me uh, Proverbs 25 and 9, I believe is what it is. Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 9. Uh, he said, oh, we're just, so what? What if I'm in sin? You're just going to let me live in sin and right. die? What is sin is death. You're just going to let me die. Imagine if I have an ought against any of you brothers. Oh, I see you living in sin. Oh, we believe different things. So you go do you, I'm going to do me. That's right. not how the scriptures work. Proverbs 25 and 9. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 25, the ninth verse. Uh -huh. Debate. What? Debate. Uh oh. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself uh -huh. and discover not a secret to another. So we're supposed to debate our cause with our brother, not just, oh, you do you, you do, I'll do me. That's not how it works, all right? Any brothers got more precepts? Yeah, I'm finna go back to what we were saying earlier ahead, in regards to contending for the faith. I did a whole video on go that. Go ahead, Jew. So we've been walking. Yeah, let's just let's start walking. Let's start walking. We got to go down yonder. Yeah, they, Clearly, they, they did not they, have the power of the hour watching y'all shot. Like, they like, damn. <laughs> he, like, look, this was crazy. Here come. This, this was crazy, right? So he, he gave an uh, explanation for 1 Corinthians 2, right? He, 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 he said, okay, just talk about examining. But when you go to the saints, just in the earth, he's like, you know what? Um, yeah, as soon as he um, was getting cut, here comes, here comes uh, a yeah. bald-headed Negro. Let's, hey, yeah, you gotta you know get what? out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about over with now. Right. But he said, we're not supposed to debate. That's the whole, the whole theme of the whole spirit of it. We're real cowardly spirit. That's what the Jehovah's Witnesses are. That's what Christians are, cowards. Jews 1 and 3. This is the book of Jude, the third verse. Uh -huh. But loved it, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation. The common salvation, right? It was needed, needful for me to write unto you uh -huh. and exhort you that ye should earnestly, earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly contend for the faith. Which That's was once mean. delivered unto the saints. Now, I'm going to read it because they want to read it in all kinds of versions, right? Let's see what some other versions say. And then I want to get the Greek for that, all right? So one second. This is Jude 1 and 3. Uh, let's see. One of them says, defend the faith. That's where it's going. Hold on, those people say, I am set for defense of the gospel. For defense of the gospel. I mean, come on, man. And, and even still, what, is, what the scripture is also saying, if I can add, that well, we're supposed to be soldiers in the army of the Lord. Right. Are you going to just, you're not going to fight? You're not going to fight? You're supposed to be a soldier in the army of the Lord. You're not going to fight for his word? You know, then it's supposed to be spiritual. So you're supposed to fight spiritual battles, bro. Exactly. Act like we ought to like knuckle up, you know, every wrong answer we punch you in the mouth. <laughs> Yeah. Beatboxing they had, bro. Yeah. Right. right. Give me um. Give me oh, guys one seventeen. She should left my I'm water in the car, and it's, it feel like hell out here. Hey, Dooley's supposed to be bringing the uh, water. Bro, you yeah, know yeah. Dooley. Dooley ain't gonna show us about four thirty two. One seventeen, and then unless brothers got a point or three six, we gonna close out and then get ready for camp. Yeah, Philippians one and fifteen. Seventeen. One and seventeen. Uh huh. Come on, this is the book of Philippians, the first chapter. The 17th verse. And they love Paul, right? This is Paul. Go ahead. But the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. So we're supposed to defend the gospel. God damn. So now what? That's Paul's words. You can't, we, you always run to Paul. Who are going to run to now? Right. You can't run to Christ because he went in, into the synagogue and was teaching the scribes and Pharisees. Right. Can't go to him. Who are you going to go to? Watch out. It's a cat. It's Ain't no, there's nowhere for you to go. All right. right. The whole Bible is totally against you. The truth is against you because you don't follow the Bible. Right. But, uh, brothers got a point. Scriptures know. Well, maybe we might as well keep it. Well, we, yeah, we can no, count we from that damn start and move yeah. on. I said, well, we, got, we already got about 11 people going. No, we're going to get one. Can we count from that? All right, well, we're going to give all praise to God by Shimashai. Say shalom. Shalom.